I will present the Nya Karta in English, the new map, a bit further than just in the exhibition. But first I will just show you a picture of me doing a performance. Because this curatorial practice is quite new for me. Uh, I'm a classical trained industrial designer. I've, been worked, I've worked for the past 10 years as a designer. Uh, not with industrial design though. Uh, my practice is very experimental and um, uh, exploratory. I am very interested in production. Uh, but someone said once, and this maybe describes my work, that I'm uh, more interested in doing counter strategies towards unethical, far away, large scale mass production. So that means maybe more local production, having the sustainability aspect in mind, and also working with the artistic uh, process within production. So that's my perspective. And uh, when I initiated this uh, exhibition, it was from the perspective that a lot of Swedes don't know that we have production and manufacturing left in Sweden. Uh, most Swedes believe that it's gone for good. Uh, and there are, of course, a lot of reasons to this, but one of the reasons is, of course, the relocation of production in the 80s, mostly in the 90s and the early 20th century. Uh, it got a lot of media attention and a lot of Swedes then believed that all production moved abroad. We also have big brands like IKEA and H&M. Uh, all Swedes know that IKEA and H&M design in Sweden, but that they produce somewhere far away. So this has always also uh, sort of grown the image of that Swedish production is more or less dead. But of course, being here, working with production, we know that that's not the case. So I wanted to prove that Swedish production is still alive and absolutely an option. The Nya Kartan is also about reintroducing closer collaborations between designers and manufacturers. We used to have designers and artists working within the industry until yeah, this change of the relocation of production. Uh, there was a lot of experimentation going on within the industry when the artists and designers were allowed there. Uh, this experimentation, of course, often led to innovations, but this now takes part mainly in the designers or artists' own studios. Also, most designers want to be more involved in production. We just feel that we're maybe not always let in to the industries. And we've also seen for the maybe past five years a new kind of designer role <coughs> where designers are a bit fed up with the system uh, and also taking control over production, wanting it to be more sustainable, more local. <coughs> So the Nya Kartan is, of course, also about questioning the habits of large-scale mass production far away, since we actually do have it still here. And my personal view on this uh, thing that we're in now when, when it comes to production is that it is some kind of parenthesis in history. This really unethical, unaware production far away where someone pays the price, where there are low wages, for example, I think we've sort of seen the peak of it. And shouldn't the production be where the consumer is? Also, when we talk about production and manufacturers, I think we need to have a broader perspective. Uh, when I did the Nya Kartan, everyone from crafts persons to big industries were invited to show the palette of what manufacturing can be. And finally, the Nya Kartan is also about showing that there are designers and design things happening outside of Stockholm. Uh, there's actually many designers living outside of Stockholm. Uh, there is this unhealthy obsession about Stockholm when it comes to design in Sweden. 
uh, I can just take a small anecdote from when the, this exhibition was at the National Museum in Stockholm. One of Sweden's most famous bloggers, trend person guy, said that uh, it was a really interesting exhibition. Uh, even though it was so many unknown designers in it, unestablished, and the thing is that everyone, that was uh, the Nya Skåne Skota, Skåne that was showed, everyone in the Nya Skåne Skåne is a well-established designer with both national and international careers, living, working 100% with design. So no, not unestablished, just not living in Stockholm. <laughs> uh, anyhow, in the beginning of 2015, uh, I invited 24 designers and 24 manufacturers for closer collaborations they had never met before. And my role as a curator was of this, um, how do you say, almost like a marriage council, council to arrange these uh, relations. I also asked them to collaborate on more equal terms, to use a model where they shared 50-50 of the costs, also sharing 50-50 of the profits. Uh, and we also connected a web shop to the exhibition in order to show that it's not just show pieces, show pieces it's actually for real. And then, as I said in the exhibition, uh, in the beginning of 2016, the Nya Kartan Småland also was established. Uh, so, in all, there are over 78 collaborators in this uh, exhibition, and of course, many, many more involved in the bigger perspective. So, I just wanted to show all of these 78 collaborators, because these persons are really the backbone of the exhibition. This is what it's all about, these relations, new friendships and professionals collaborating. So, what have we learned? I think one of the things that we have learned is that production in this part of the world, in the southern part of Sweden, is extremely alive. We have also learned that manufacturers in Skåne and Småland are very different. We have also learned that closer collaborations can be done, but it's down to a matter of personality and chemistry, uh, if it's going to turn out as a success or not. We have collaborators in the Nya Kartan who will never collaborate before, and we have also gotten friends for life. We have also learned that, yes, we do have options for far away large-scale mass production. We have also seen that a lot of the objects developed along with the, the Nya Kartan became quite expensive. This is, however, not strictly connected to production in Sweden or local production, but rather the setup of this exhibition. The designers and manufacturers didn't have any boundaries. They were able to do and show their absolute <coughs> skills. And for once, they didn't have to think about money. 
the 50-50 model of working together did both work and fail. And I think it was connected to how committed the two collaborators were. Uh, the tighter the collaboration was, the more success in this 50-50 model. And the Nya Cotton has led to several long-term collaborations. Uh, we've seen new innovations and ideas. It has made local production a conversation topic again. And we, or maybe we should say they, have learned that there are designers and design things happening outside of Stockholm. And the continuation of the Nya Cotton, because it closes today, uh, is that we will do uh, the Nya Cotton Halland, which is the region to the west of Småland in uh, the winter, 2016. Uh, I have also started a platform uh, highlighting local manufacturing uh, possibilities uh, in, in Skåne. It will maybe grow, called Spock. Uh, we have a website where you can search for different kinds of manufacturers. And for my personal point, I think uh, what is now challenging for me is to also prove that local production can also be affordable and democratic. So I think I need to go into that direction, make very cheap, locally produced, everyday uh, objects. So thank you. <laughs>